Hello, good evening, welcome. My name is Cerise Walters and I'm manager for careers and employer engagement here at Thomas Rodham College. Um, I'm delighted to talk to you uh, tonight, albeit virtually, unfortunately uh, not in person, uh, but about um, careers, work placement, uh, to answer any questions uh, that you might have got about how you picked the right course for you, um, uh, anything related to what you wanted to know with university apprenticeships, anything like that, please do ask. Um, there's the opportunity to answer questions and I will respond to as many of them as I can do. Um, before I go into the Q&A and to give you a chance to think of any questions that you might want to put to me, I'm just going to play a short um, presentation to you, just to give you a few things to think about in terms of which route you might want to do when you come to sixth form. So whether you're thinking of, say, A-levels or B-techs and how you'd pick the right subjects for you. So I shall just play your video now. Okay. Hello, my name is Cerise and I'm Manager for Careers here at TRC. I'm delighted today to be able to tell you about um, how you go about choosing the right courses for you and the pathways that you're going to pick during your time at college. So up until now, you'll predominantly be taking qualifications that you've had to take through school, so a lot of your core subjects, whereas now you're going to get the opportunity to choose what you want to do. And that can be an exciting time, but also quite a daunting time to make sure you pick um, the right choice for you. And depending on the choice that you pick will have an impact on the opportunities and what you can do after college. Because TRC is larger than most sixth form colleges, it means that you've got a really wide variety of subjects that you can choose from. And again, sometimes it can be difficult to decide what's right for you. So hopefully the information that I'm going to give you today is going to help point you in the right direction. So first I'm going to tell you about A-level qualifications. So advanced level qualifications, or A-levels as they're more commonly known, um, are exam based. So at the end of the two years you will sit an exam and that is your grade that you will get. Um, these A-level courses are in subject based, so they tend to be in traditional academic subjects. And they're great if you wanted to keep your options open, so if you're not sure what you want to do after college, it can be a really good way to keep pathways open. Also, some universities will ask for specific A-level qualifications, so if you've got a particular career option in mind that you want to pursue, it may be there's a certain combination of A-level subjects that you need to do, so again, this could be the right pathway for you. They're also a great way if you wanted to look at going on to maybe higher or degree level apprenticeships or also the world of work. So how do you know if the A-level pathway is right for you? Well, as I say, if you're confident with exams or if you're looking at pursuing a career which requires you to go on to university and have a specific A-level combination, then this could be the right pathway for you. If you do decide that you want to go down the A-level pathway, you'll see on the slide here a really helpful link to a website which will help you think about the key things to bear in mind when choosing the right combination of subjects for you. One of the main things to consider is picking a subject that's right for you. Obviously you're going to have gone from studying say eight or nine different subjects at school down to three subjects. So the three subjects that you pick, it's really important that you enjoy them and you're going to be happy putting in the additional time required outside your studies um, to focus on those subjects that you've chosen. It may be that you decide that the BTEC pathway is the right route for you. So what is a BTEC? So the BTEC is a combination of exam and coursework. Most of the new BTECs are coursework based with a mixture of sort of assessments, it could be through presentation, uh, might be some sort of practical test, maybe even work placement in there. And the majority of them do have some um, examination element in there also. The BTEC is a really good qualification to pick if you're interested in a particular vocational area. So it may be that you've already got an idea of the area you want to go into and you want to already start specialising in one particular um, route. You can take the BTEC qualification either as a single, a double or a triple, depending on how much you want to focus on that particular vocational area. The BTEC diplomas that we offer are the equivalent to three A-levels and so these give you a really broad understanding in one particular vocational area if you know what you want to do. 
If you wanted to keep your options open, you might decide that you want to go for um, one of the doubles, which is equivalent to two A-levels, or even a single, equivalent to one A-level, and combine it with some of the BTEC courses. If you decide you want to keep your options open and not go for the triple and go for the double or the single, um, you're able to do this and combine it with your qualifications. Also, the same with A-levels, they will open up a variety of pathways for you in terms of after college, if you want to go on and study at university, maybe do a degree further study there, or if you want to access apprenticeships, whether they be at higher or degree level, or also the world of work. To help you pick the right route and combination of subjects for you, we've also put on our website some helpful guides to help you see what kind of things you can progress onto with the subjects you take here at college. So you'll see on there it gives you an idea of the different types of job opportunities that particular combinations of subjects might lead to. It also gives you an idea of who some of the employers are um, and also some apprenticeship ideas as well as universities. It's also got other useful information on there that might help you to decide which pathway is right for you, including things like salary information, for example. If you need any further help from us, then please just ask any questions. I'm happy to answer. Just to tell you, I've got a number of questions coming in, so I'm going to work um, through those. But to let you know, here at Thomas Rotherham College, the careers and we have work placement team here as well. Um, and you have access to qualified careers advisors, um, both before you come to college to help you pick the right subject. I know there's lots of questions coming in around which types of um, combination of subjects you might need to pick for going into certain career areas. Um, and I will cover as many things that I can do um, this evening. Um, if there's some that are specific just to one person, um, I will give you um, an email address and we will answer those one-to-one -one for you. Uh, but basically, um, as a department, uh, we've put on a variety of events which you get to take part in during your time here at college. So things like careers fairs where we invite in um, employers, lots of different universities, things like that. Um, we support you with um, not just university applications, things like how to write um, your personal statement for competitive courses. So I can see there's quite a few people logged on tonight really interested in lots of the allied healthcare things so like nursing and midwifery um, for example are ones which um, are competitive to get into and we provide um, you know specialist support in terms of how you would um, structure your application uh, for those um, but we also uh, support you with things like how to prepare for interviews at university as well as if you decide say that apprenticeships or degree apprenticeships or work is the route for you uh, we also make sure that you're you're job ready um, and our work placement team they will support you in making sure that you get the right type of work placement that you need to make sure you can progress on obviously after college um, on, on to what it is you're wanting to do so there's quite a few of you looking at the questions that are coming in, which is fantastic. Thank you for sending those in. Um, wanting to know, would you be able to do all the courses um, or would you have to do an alternative? Um, we, we don't sort of limit you in terms of the combination of subjects that you can do here at college. It doesn't fall into blocks like it does quite often at schools. Um, what I would say is you do need to make sure you meet the entry requirements for your chosen course. So one thing that you should be keeping in mind is do have a look on the TRC website and you will see um, the individual entry requirements for each of the subjects. Um, so it may be, for example, if you've got, say, science subjects in mind, there will be certain grades that you need to be working towards now in your year um, 11 um, in your GCSEs to make sure you get the required grades. Um, so providing you meet the entry requirements for the course, then in answer to your question, yes, you could do. In the event that your grades weren't as you had hoped for, so say if you were originally hoping to go down an A-level pathway and for whatever reason you didn't get the grades required for an individual course, then obviously we would go through with you on alternative subjects that you could do, but that would let you go into the career area that you wanted to go through to. Um, in terms of people wanting to know um, specifically, I've got 
quite a few actually there's at least three that i can see coming up on here which are linked theme to similar areas around um careers midwifery um sort of paramedic science so they would all be linked so these are very popular subjects they're allied healthcare subjects and say if you would like specific information for you personally uh, please i invite you to email into um, the careers team here at college it's careers at tomrolf.ac.uk we'll get the link uh, put up on here um, on the chat for you um, and you can message that in but generally just as there's quite a few of you asking around it um, either um, you would maybe need sort of a specific subject so normally science uh, for those areas or it may be that you're looking perhaps at going down the triple BTEC pathway something like the BTEC science or, or the allied healthcare um, and my message to all of you would be if you if you are sort of logging in now um, viewing this and you've got a specific course um, subject that you're wanting to do at university um, obviously we're a stepping stone to that so it's crucial now that you pick the right combination of subjects that will lead you on to what you want to do so i strongly advise you to get in touch with the universities if you're not sure where offers them go on the ucas um, website or again just email us here at the college or speak to your co your school and um, careers advisor um, and get in touch with the university and just say hello you know i'm wanting to do whatever the subject might be um, what specific subjects do I need to do? So you can check whether it is sort of specific um, science A levels that they may want, or if they will accept BTECs, and in which case, which BTEC subjects they want. So that way, you know, you can definitely move on to what it is um, you wanted to do. Um, I've got a subject here, thank you, from Daisy, who's asked around, um, can you do uh, more than three subjects, or is that the limit? So. Um, generally most of our students do do three um occasionally they may do a fourth and that depends very much on um what your grades were um at at gcse um what i would say to that is that even our students who are applying through um, our he plus program the oxbridge program to oxford and cambridge um the offers that you will get from the universities are for um, three A levels. So it's about making sure that you put all your, your efforts into those um, subjects and get the best grades that you possibly can do in those. Um, obviously, there is a risk the more that you do, you could sort of um, might impact on the grades that you get overall. So it's thinking about um, sort of making the most of those subjects. So pick wisely um but yeah generally is three is what you would would pick um i've also got um again some other ones here specifically um around sort of um pathways around picking um biology chemistry and maths what career path um would suit these subjects um by picking a combination of stem subjects it leads open a real wide array of subjects um, i would recommend if you haven't seen already if you go on the trc website we've put together a really helpful resource on there um, it's marked up as the pathways section um, and that gives you a really good idea of different kinds of um, jobs and things that you could do um, if you decided to do that particular combination of subjects um, or you could also visit sites such as like prospects for example and that again will give you an idea of what kind of things you could do with those particular um, subjects as well um, again in terms of things like um, for law obviously we do offer law here um, so a whole mix of different subjects could be like law, psychology, criminology. It depends, really. I would say the key message to think about tonight is, um, yes, if there's a particular career area you want to go into, it's wise to research, as I say, contact the university, speak to your careers advisors at school um, and find out are there a particular combination of subjects you need. Um, but it's really important you pick subjects that you're going to enjoy and you think you're going to do well in. Obviously, you're moving from currently maybe doing, you know, eight, nine different subjects at school. Obviously, a lot of those may be core subjects. But as I said in, in the video to you just now, um, it's now about picking subjects that you're really going to enjoy and you think you're going to do well at because there'll be a lot of additional time outside. Um, 
of your, your study, your timetable that you will need to be putting in. So pick things that you're going to enjoy. Um, I've got a really good question here from Cody's asked, um, what would you suggest if I don't know um, which route I want to go down? Um, I think lots of students are in the same position. Not everybody does know. It's very difficult, isn't it, to decide at um, 15, 16. Um, what career path um, that you want to go down. Um, again, I would recommend, uh, you may have spotted it or maybe not already, it's a relatively new resource. Again, we've put on the website, so you're welcome to log on there and have a look. Um, it's actually marked um, down at the bottom of the careers page under parent guide. Um, but if you click on there, it's for students to use as well, not just um, parents and guardians. Um, but that gives you some really good tips. It's quite an interactive thing on how to identify um, what subjects might be right for you, the different type of careers it could lead to. Um, there's also things like um, the National Career Service website as well, for example. Um, and on that, they've got like um, a skills assessment. So again, you can put in there, it'll ask you a series of questions about your different interests, your hobbies, and based on what you say you're interested in, it will help generate some ideas um, so again it will kind of help you point you um, in the right direction of what of what you may want to do um, I've got someone here asking again um, quite a specific one but a, quite a bit of interest around um, sort of medicine and doctors and that kind of, of thing again I would suggest you email into the careers at tomrolf.ac.uk uh, for specific information on those but anything um, such as like um, veterinary medicine, uh, dentistry, um, medicine itself, you could be looking at going down the traditional um, A-level pathway for those and you'd definitely be needing looking at like chemistry and biology um, on there. Um, so kind of traditional academic subjects and they'd be looking for high um, grades that you would um, need at, at GCSE. Um, I've got a question here from um, Casey, quite a popular one, quite a few people wanting to know um, what support would there be um, if you didn't get the grades to meet the recommended grades for a particular course? Um, well, um, on enrolment, when you when you come in on GCSE results day, if unfortunately you're in a situation that you haven't got the grades that you were hoping for, um, you will be seen by a member of the careers um, team here at TRC, um, and we would go through the other options. So it would depend whether um, you still met the entry criteria for our level three courses. So we might discuss, say, if you were originally intending on an A-level pathway and you hadn't quite got the grades for that, you perhaps decided that you wanted to pursue the BTEC pathway. It may be that we need to talk to you about um, perhaps resitting your, your level two programme, your GCSEs, to try and sort of boost that up for a year with, before you then progress on to um, the level three course uh, but we would absolutely go through that with you and make sure you are advised of what to do best at, um, at that point um i've got um again there's a few more um questions coming in here around um sort of career choices uh, for particular uh, subjects what subjects do i need um to do um, again, I would suggest if you have a look on um, our um, pathway section and also on the National Career Service website, it will tell you um, there for those. Uh, we do, there's one on here around criminology, we do offer criminology um, and again, you can you can do that with any combination of subjects you want, uh, you know, popular content combinations tend to be like criminology, law, psychology, uh, those combinations. Um, but again, it's the key thing is about picking what's going to be right for you, what you're going to enjoy, um, and being aware of what different that different mix of opportunities um, can, can lead on to. Um, Emily's asking, um, if you don't meet the entrance grades, um, does that mean you can't um, get on the course? Um, Obviously, the entry requirements we have are set. Um, there isn't kind of any um, flex in those. So I guess the answer is if you if you don't meet the grade required for your particular course, um, you wouldn't be able to do um, what you were planning on doing. So we would discuss alternatives with you. I guess it would depend.
intent how far off you were on the grades that you needed. Um, you'll be aware from looking on our website um, that you obviously need a minimum of the five GCSEs. Um, obviously, many of them require other grades. English is a key one that you will need to pass English language for, for all of our level three courses. Um, so I would suggest have a look on the website, see if you're worried at all that you know you may not get the grades you need, please just feel free, email in, speak to your school and um, careers advisor, um, and we'll be able to um, discuss alternative suggestions um, with you. Um, there's um, a, quite a popular question coming from quite a few people who's, who are asking around um, around what sort of BTEC science courses we offer around sort of medicine, midwifery, that kind of thing. Um, if, as, I say, as I said earlier, um, if you're wanting to go into medicine, um, you will need to go down the traditional A-level pathway. So it would be um, your chemistry and your biology um, for those. Um, if you're looking at some of the other allied healthcare professions, things like um, nursing, possibly midwifery, um, then things like the extender, so that's the triple um, science or, or health and social course. But again, please just email in if you've got individual questions about those. Um, got a question, thank you, from um, Stephanie and a couple of other people asking as well um, around do we offer work placement? Um, we do, yes, we encourage all our students here at college um, to um, participate in work placement during the time that they're here. We have two work placement coordinators who uh, will support you in finding um, the right work placement for you. So that could be that you need placement because um, the course that you're wanting to study, um, the university requires you to, to have um, demonstrated some insight into that. It may be, obviously, it's competitive job market out there, but you're wanting to um, perhaps target one of the degree apprenticeships um, after you finish college and, and in order to do that and strengthen your application you might be looking at doing a placement um, or it might just be that you've got a couple of different career ideas and you want to try a few things out and find which is right for you um, either way yes um, we will support you with, with a placement um, in terms of um, there's a few questions in terms of how soon do I need to start applying for courses? Well, you can start um, applying um, via the TRC website uh, for our courses. Um, so um, obviously, after the event, have a look. There's obviously um, um, other links when this is finished that you can have a look um, from our head of faculties who've put some presentations together. Um, so you can find out a little bit more about what their area offers about the different courses and say finding which ones you think you're going to enjoy um, during the time that you're here. Um, and once you've got an idea of those courses, then absolutely you can put those down and, and start um, applying now. Um, I've got... Um, a few other questions again a bit more um specific around um what kind of um subjects and things do, do i need to do so i'll see if we get a chance to answer those i will do um there's one here um from casey um saying how many years um will we stay on at trc so um all of the courses that we offer they're a two-year um program um so whether you do um, the A-level pathway or the BTEC pathway with us, um, you'd be here for, for the two um, years um, for, for that. Um, I think uh, Emily's, I think I've answered how soon do I need to start applying? So yeah, you can start applying, I've said for those now and via the website. Um, uh, just having a look. So fantastic, loads of questions coming here, which is great. Um, just uh, having a look. So um, for a career in a more advanced position, if you take biology and go further in it, would it be able to get you to the right places? Um, so I guess, Chloe, you're um, thinking of targeting um, uh, biology um, there. So yes, you would. Um, I'd recommend if you have a look on a site, again, anybody else who's listening in tonight, if you've got um, a particular subject that might be like, say, your favourite subject, 
um, at school and you think, oh, I want to study that further at university and see what I could do with it. Um, a really good place to look is the Prospects website. So that's uh, prospects.ac.uk. And you can put any of the subjects that you're thinking of studying in there. So in Chloe's case, she could put um, uh, biology into there um, and that would uh, give her an indication of the range of different jobs that she could do um, with that. Um, thank you to, um, I can see you should have got the email on, on there now which has answered uh, Raheem's question just um, emailing into um, the careers at tomrov.ac.uk hopefully you can you can see um, on the feed um, there. Um, again um, just a bit of a question um, from Emily here saying, um, will there be a chance to come into um, the college um, and have a look around? Um, obviously, we'll have to see what happens with um, the COVID um, situation. Um, there are um, obviously um, sort of virtual tours, as it were, that you can view in terms of things that we've put. Um, I think there's quite a, a good aerial tour one we've had as, as well recently, which gives you a really good overview. We've got a beautiful campus here. Um, so I'm sure that as soon as it is safe to do so and we are allowed to, you would be able to have a look. Um, obviously, normally, um, if it's not such crazy times, we would have been delighted to have welcomed you all onto site uh, tonight to have a look around and answer your questions in in person, uh, but we've had to do it this way for now. But I'm sure as soon as things change and you're able to, um, we would we would let you know. Um, and there's a question here, quite a popular one, um, um, from from Casey asking around: Are there a certain amount of spaces um, on subjects? Um, you know, we enrol students onto the onto courses, so we don't have a limit in terms of um, how many can enrol for things. Um, I think the only exception are possibly things like maybe, um, say, computer science, where you need to have a set number of students um, on particular computers. But generally, no. If you're wanting to come here and you're wanting to do a subject, then um, you'll time tell you for the subjects that you've asked for. Um, there's, a, again, um, a question from um, Emily here saying, does TRC offer apprenticeships? Uh, we don't uh, know. Uh, we offer BTEX, uh, which you can either do as like a single, double or a triple, or you can do the A-level um, pathway. Um, however, what I would say is irrespective of whether you decide to choose um, the A-level or the BTEC pathway, um, both of those routes will lead you on to apprenticeships, but at a higher level. So um, obviously you could go and do an apprenticeship straight from school, but it would be at, at level at level two. Um, so if you decided to do a, continue to college on sixth form um, and you do a level three qualification, whichever route that is, um, then that is obviously going to lead you on to studying your apprenticeship at a higher level or even a degree apprenticeship if, if that's what you wanted to look at. Um, another really popular question um, coming here, um, thank you, Mr. Saran. Do universities choose A level over BTEC or does it not matter? Um, and can you still get into university with a BTEC? Um, that's a really good question. It's one we get asked um, a lot. Um, I would say um, that depends very much on the university that you're wanting to target. If you are planning on applying to um, one of the Russell Group, one of the research led universities, um, they are more sort of exacting in the subject combinations that they want and quite often um, they have certain subjects that um, they prefer in terms of a combination. Um, if you are concerned about, well, which subjects should I pick? Um, the Russell Group ones tend to prefer facilitating subjects. So these are ones which sort of keep your options open and they're quite traditional academic subjects. So if you think of the subjects you're studying at school at the moment, things like maths, English, um, your sciences, a language, humanities, that kind of thing. Um, again, on the TRC website under the careers page, um, you'll see that I've put a link on there to um, the Russell Group universities. Um, and there's a really fantastic interactive um, 
um, tool on there, um, their informed choices tool. It links through to the website there. And that's a really good way. So when you go onto there, it will say, uh, yes, I know what I want to do, or no, I don't know what I want to do. And so depending on your own personal circumstance, you can kind of go through and it will help advise you on the particular combination of subjects that might be um, right, right for you. Um, in terms of can you go to university with BTEC, yes, we have a lot of our students who study BTECs here um, who go on to university. There's no reason why you can't go to university if you do the BTEC. Um, the UCAS tariff points, you get the same amount of points if you get an A grade at A level as you do as a distinction at BTEC. As I say, though, it does depend on the university you apply to and what course you're applying to. Um, some of them will want, as I say, certain um, preferences for A-level rather than BTEC. And again, if you're not sure for your chosen course or what you wanted to do, which is right for you, please just check with your careers advisor. Um, a really popular one coming in, thank you, from Cody, is around um, how many days a week would be attending or does it depend on what course you've taken? Um, all our courses that we offer, they're all, they're all full-time. We just offer a full-time program. Um, we've got a slightly, um, obviously, different timetable um, um, running at the moment. Um, so we've kind of got a week one, week two um, a timetable. Um, so it's slightly different at the moment um, to how it normally is. Um, so normally, um, when things hopefully return to normal, let's all hope quite soon, um you you would normally uh be on site uh for your courses and then um if you'd have a gap you'd be able to do sort of study in our study area um so it, it would depend you might be in quite so many days and then have one afternoon perhaps where you didn't it depends really on the subjects you've taken and, and what your timetable um is um, but obviously at the minute students are on site for the lessons, it's blended learning and then the rest they would do um, at home. Um, there's, um, I think, the most popular question I've had uh, tonight so far. Thank you, Ella, for this. Lots of other people um, wanted to know this as well. Um, if you're unsure on what career you want to do in the future, what subjects would you recommend taking that has a variety of different routes? Um, so again, that's really good. Um, any of the um, A-level um, subjects, they, they all, and the beauty of them, I suppose, is that you can pick three uh, different subjects. So it's kind of keeping your options open. Um, certainly any of the, the STEM subjects, so the science, um, technology, engineering, math related subjects, um, will we'll do that. Um, as will any of the facilitating ones. So say if you go on that Russell Group Informed Choices website, um, and you have a look on there. If you pick any of those subjects, they are, I always refer to say to students, I think facilitating sounds a bit of a fancy word, but think of it as like open doors. So if you do those facilitating subjects, they will keep as many doors open as possible. So if you're really unsure um, of what you want to do, that's a really good way um, to keep your options open. Um, We've also got um, another really popular one here from Daisy. Um, if after starting college, I decide to change my career choice, um, will I be able to change the subjects if I pick if I need to? Um, we have um, a, a couple of weeks um, at the start of term. Um, obviously, we um, give you the opportunity to to try the subjects that you're going to do um, before um, you, you start and you join us um, to give you sort of a bit of a taster of what of what that might be like um, in terms of induction. Um, if you did when you first started, you got here and you changed your mind, um, then there is, as I say, that window of time for you to change. Obviously, after that period of time, you would have missed too much to then sort of drop a subject and pick another one up. So it is really, really important that you use your time now to be thinking about, you know, what it is that you might want to do, which is why, as I say, I strongly recommend um, you have a look on um, that resource that we've put about on the website there under the parent guide link around how to pick the right subjects um, for you and looking at what kind of things that they can lead on to. Um, I think I might have, I 
I think I don't know if I've answered this one already, but it's still on there. And, and there's lots of people asking, are there a certain amount of spaces in a subject? So no, we we run the subject. So it's not like we get to 30 and that's it. If they need to, there'll be more than one class. So for um, some courses, which are really um, popular, such as um, like A-level biology, for example, there'll be many classes. It's not, we don't just run a single, a single class. Um, Somebody has asked here, Amelia, again, another really popular one. Thank you for this, Amelia, around. Um, can you pick subjects um, that you didn't do for GCSE? Um, again, it's a really good question. It depends um, on the A-level you pick. Um, obviously, if you were looking at something like, say, um, a language, um, for example, you would need to have got some understanding of that uh, before you progressed on to doing it um, at A-level. Um, however, we do have a number of subjects that, um, you know, sixth form college is a fantastic way to uh, try out something new. So, for example, it could be something like um, law or I think in the presentation did earlier, I, I sort of mentioned about um, things like um, philosophy or psychology or sociology, for example, that many of you won't have had the opportunity to do at school, um, but you are absolutely able to pick those up. Um, just make sure, as I say, look on the website and make sure that you meet the um, individual entry requirements um, for, for those courses. Um, um, when uh, really, gosh, quite lots of you all wanting to know, actually, uh, from Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. I think you've got the prize for the most popular one <laughs> tonight. Um, people wanting to know, um, would I need to take my own laptop on site? Um, as most lessons would use computers um, or are, are those provided. Um, so in terms of um, the, the college, most of your lessons, if you're on site and you're, you're in, in your lesson, um, you will have got the resources. So if you're doing a subject that requires you to be using a computer, um, then you will be booked into one of our IT suites and you would be using that. Um, if you are concerned that you don't have um, the equipment that you require at home um, for your study, um, if you're one of our, say, bursary students, for example, um, the college will look at supporting with that. And we do have um, a bank of um, college laptops that students um, can, can sign out to, to use as, as well. So we would obviously make sure that all students are uh, supported in accessing the resources that they need to complete their subjects. Um, and then another proper question, thank you, from Casey saying, um, when uh, will we start at TRC if we enrol and get a place? Um, so our um, enrolment is our starts on GCSE results day. Um, so every student who um, is invited, um, who applies here, will have an interview um, and be made an offer. Um, and then um, you would come in, and as I say, you'll be given a date of when your particular time is to come and enrol. But it's it's from uh, GCSE Results Day. It is when we start um, enrolment here. Um, a few people wanting to know, can you tell us more about the HE Plus for Oxford and Cambridge? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so here at Thomas Rodman College, uh, for quite a number of years now, we're the lead consortia for uh, the HE Plus programme. So this is a fantastic scheme for supporting young people um, from this area um, into getting to some of the most competitive universities. Uh, we have linked recently with things like the Linica Trust, for example, as well, um, to support students um, who are um, aiming to get into those most competitive of universities. Um, so as part of that, we have um, guest speakers will come in from the University um, of Cambridge and Oxford and give talks. Normally, um, it would include um, a tour, a trip, we would take you um, down there as well. Um, at the moment, obviously, this year that's been done virtually, uh, but hopefully by the time you all get here, um, you, you would be able to, to see that in, in person. Um, uh, Rachel here said, will uh, there be live talks for each individual subject at any point? Um, so um, if that's in terms of wanting to know, um, have an opportunity to speak to subject teachers to ask particular questions, um, I would advise you um, if you want to email in again, say to the careers um, email that you've already got there, or maybe inquiries at uh, tomroft.ac.uk. Um, 
we can pass those questions on to individual departments. Um, there are, you will be able to access um, this evening, talks from the head of faculty, um, and they go through all the different subjects um, that they've, they've got. Um, if there's anything else that you're wanting to know, as I say, about particular subjects, please just email and ask, and we'll make sure that you get the information you want. Um, there is quite a lot of information as well on the website. If you look on uh, each of the different subject areas um, that you'll be able to see. Um, a message from um, Charlotte, question here saying, um, could you get into university um, having done um, an apprenticeship? Um, so yes, so it might be that you want to do apprenticeship pathway so you can work your way up to different um, levels. Um, so yes, it's just an alternative um, route um, that you would need to take. So yes, in answer to that, um, it might be that you want to do, um, there's quite a lot of degree apprenticeships coming online as well now. So you can combine working um, um, and studying. And obviously the beauty of those is that the employer is also paying for, for the fees as well. So they tend to be increasingly popular. Um, Somebody asking, can I do uh, two A levels and a B tech? Uh, yes, you can, is the answer to that. Um, again, a couple more uh, specific courses. How many B techs would I have to choose? Um, so it's the same as your A levels, it's three or the equivalent of three. So it depends on um, the B tech that you pick. So you'd have, if you imagine, three subject blocks. So you would either pick uh, one BTEC, which is um, a triple, so it's the equivalent weighting to three um, A levels. So you'll see on our website that could be in something like, um, you know, sport. Um, it might be a full time course, like, say, our cash, the childcare diploma. It might be for like health and social care, media, something like that. Um, or it may be that you, you don't want to put all eggs in one basket and you want to sort of uh, try a few different ones. So you might decide you want to do like a, a double in one and a single or, or three separate BTECs. Um, is there a work placement for a route down to medicine? Um, in terms of work placement, there's lots of um, work placements which will give you experience for going into medicine. Um, again, if you have a look on our website, the work placement team have put together um, a fantastic um, virtual work placement guide and there's quite a lot of stuff on there at the moment for medicine. So you can kind of log into virtual GP surgeries um, and, and things like that. So do have a look on there. Um, and there's also a number of um, sort of widening participation schemes. So um, these are for if you are first generation in your family. So um, by that, I mean that neither of your parents have gone, um, siblings can have done, you know, if you've got an older brother or sister. Um, but if you're first generation to go, um, and depending on like your postcode, um, there are a number of schemes through say like the University of Sheffield, for example, they have their uh, Discover, their Discover Medicine programme. So again, there's things like that um, that we participate in here at the college and we will tell you um, about. Um, uh, another popular question um, in from um, Jessica, thank you, saying, uh, with COVID, would it all be on site or would there be some online calls for lessons? Um, so uh, we're operating a um, uh, blended learning, so we've got you um, on site as much as possible for lessons, but you have got some of your time um, will will be um, delivered through things like, say, Teams. Um, obviously, you've also got access to your own personal progress tutor that you will get at college. Um, currently, that is via um, Teams at the moment, but hopefully when uh, COVID passes, you would be back on site and you'll be able to see them um, in, in the flesh. Um, a couple of questions here. Um, Again, I think quite a few of these are linking to um, a specific what combination of subjects and A-levels um, should I do. So um, please, as I said earlier, please email into the careers um, at tomrov.ac.uk um, and over the you know the next week, uh, one of the careers advisors, we will get back to you and make sure that um, we've made sure that you know you've got the right combination of subjects um, for what you're wanting to do. 
Um, again, the same might apply. A couple of uh, popular questions come in from Libby, people wanting to know about art, um, haven't done it at GCSE, but wanting to do it, and would they need a portfolio? Um, yeah, again, email in, we can give you some more information um, about, about that. Um, just have a look, scrolling down here. Um, I think these are all specific ones now. Um, let's have a look. Uh, we've got, um, I want to do B Tech Science, B Tech Business. Uh, yeah, again, I would say just email into the careers account, but the answer to yours um, is yes there, uh, Raheem. There's a couple of you asking about that. Um, so uh, questions around difference between so obviously a level maths further maths so if you do both of those um you would normally do um a level maths in your first year um and then so the full a level syllabus and then in the second year you do the, the further maths um so at the end of um obviously the two years you've got the, the two both qualifications there um a couple of questions of people wanting to know, um, Casey's asking, how is college different from sixth form? Um, and um, how is college and sixth form different from high school? Quite a popular one there. Um, so obviously we are bigger than many traditional um, school um, sixth forms. We have sort of, you know, 14, 1500 students on site here, all aged between 16 to 19. So it's a really good way to, um, new opportunities to meet new people um, and because we are larger obviously it means that there's a greater quantity of subjects that you can choose from so you'll be aware um, on our website um, we've got a really wide range of A-level subjects um, that you can choose from um, there as well as the BTEC courses um, and I think the last one's coming in now um, so Charlotte's saying is an apprenticeship as a teaching assistant a way to full teacher training either so we've got quite a few sort of specific ones um, again there so um, again just email into the careers um, at tomrov.ac.uk and, and we can kind of give you a full um, information for your specific question there um, nice question in from Libby again really popular people obviously want to know how easy is it to make friends um, it is a really friendly college I think if you um, you know speak to some of our students who are already here whether you um, know them we've got um, a podcast I know that's recently um, been published and it's got sort of some of our students who are here who are sort of telling you about the college and you know they'll tell you it's a really um, friendly place um, so yeah, I would say speak to some of our, our current students um, and they'll be able to yeah let, let you know that. Um, so I think that's the last question um, that I've got in um, for now, um, which has been fantastic. Thank you for all your questions. I say hopefully I think I've managed to get through uh, most of those there. Um, if you um, have um, as I say, any other specific questions um, that you're wanting us um, to answer from a careers point of view, um, then please um, do make sure that you um, email the careers at tomroft.ac.uk. Um, there are a number of people who've asked around, um, what would you offer um, if people have been um, bullied? We don't tolerate bullying at all here at the college. Um, so you would um, report um, that you have your own progress tutor, your personal tutor, um, you would report that to them and it would be acted on immediately. We don't tolerate bullying here at the college. Um, what kind of facilities um, do we have? Um, again, um, I would suggest if you um, have a look on the um, some of the videos that we've got loaded up, it will give you an idea of the facilities that we've got here. Um, obviously, there's the, the gym, we've got the um, AstroTurf, we've got um, all the um, kind of canteen, LRC facilities, IT suites. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a lovely building, as you probably see if you've been passed from the outside. Uh, but if you have a look at some of the um, online pictures and images, um, I know unfortunately you can't get in here in person tonight, uh, but hopefully I'll give you an indication of, of the facilities um, that we have got here. 
Um, uh, would be some good. Again, any sort of specific um, topics around particular subjects that you're wanting to do, um, just um, email into um, the careers account there. Um, message from, um, question from Casey here, and there's quite a few others also wanting to know the same. Um, what will our tutors be like and what would we do in tutor? So um, your progress tutor, they're your personal tutor. Um, they are here for you during your time at college. So um, they will um, do sort of one-to-one -one work with you. They will look at and um, support you with um, your subjects, um, looking at um, what it is you're wanting to do after college, how you're progressing with your subjects, um, if you've any issues, if there's anything else you need um, help or support with. Um, obviously, there's a range of uh, support services here at college. Um, myself from careers um, and the work placement team, we're based up in the student services area um, of, of the college. Um, we have um, the counsellors up here, there's the class uh, team also um, in the college as well tutors so lots of support um, to help you when, when you're here at college. Um, question from a few people from Jacob, thank you, um, asking um, would outdoor areas be closed um, due to um, COVID? Uh, no, the outdoor areas open but we can't obviously have any um, mixing of students um, anywhere at the moment that's just so um, you obviously would come into college um, to your lessons, all socially distanced, and then and then leave. Um, so yeah, I don't think that's different to anywhere else at the moment. Um, we've got to be uh, super super careful um, at the moment um, and make sure everyone stays safe. Um, do you have lectures and do you have to attend? Uh, well, yes, you have to attend. Obviously, you're choosing to come to college. Um, it's not kind of a you choose when you want to come or not. So um, it's very much um, you. We hope that you you're choosing to come to college. You're choosing subjects that you want to do that you're going to enjoy, and that you're going to be happy and wanting to attend and to study. Um, so it's not so much lectures, they're lessons that you have. We do have a lecture theatre, which again, you may have seen um, pictures of um, on our website. Um, and sometimes that is used. It might be if we've got visiting speakers in, or it might be if you're part of um, a, a larger course, there might uh, be an occasion where they use a lecture theatre. But generally, um, you would be in, um, in a classroom uh, setting. Um, a couple of questions in around, um, thank you, Casey, for bringing this up. Uh, will there be a library in TRC? Yes, we've got a fantastic learning resource centre, um, which is really well stocked. Um, so again, that will make sure you've got not just general re reading material, um, but all the materials that um, you need to support you um, with your course, additional reading materials, journals, that kind of thing. So um, yes, yes, we have we have that, um, and it's got kind of quiet study areas and group areas that you would normally be able to access um, when it's not obviously uh, COVID uh, time. Um, a few people want to know in from um, Libby here. Um, are teachers told if a student? has any um, disorders or disabilities. So um, that would be um, down to the sh um, student. Obviously, we would ask you if you had any um, disabilities or anything that you wish to um, disclose to us. Um, the college has the class department who are a fantastic specialist team of staff um, who will um, um, be able to um, support you if you have any additional needs um, I would suggest if you haven't seen it already that you go to the support video um, on the website um, and Melanie Allen who is the head of that area has um, got a really good video on there that I think you'd find really informative and it gives you an idea of, of the support um, that, that is there for students with disabilities. Um, another question in from um, Casey here will we get extra revision um, sessions. Um, there is always time uh, built in every week um, for additional, it's like a subject, um, subject support slot. Um, 
and we absolutely um, encourage you to um, log on um, and to you know, to, to go in when you're on site um, to take part in those revision revision sessions. And that's a chance for you to obviously speak to your teacher and find out um, if there's any additional information um, that, that you want to know. So thank you for that. Um, I think that might be my last question. Just looking if we've got any more questions in. Um, hopefully, I think I've answered uh, mo most of those there. So, to say, um, sort of key messages would be to um, check on the website under the careers area, um, look at things like the informed choices website, um, look at the pathways section. Um, look at some of the activities in the parent guide um, and uh, they will be able to um, point you in the direction of some of the things to consider um, at, at the moment. Um, and I'd say key messages really are, we are a stepping stone to what you want to do. So if you have got a specific um, career area in mind of what you wanted to do, please do contact the universities that you're wanting to go to and just check if they've got um, a certain preference for particular subjects. Um, that just looks like there's another subject, uh, another question coming here. Oh, quite a few people asking the same one actually. Um, it's regarding parents' evenings. Will there be any parents' evenings? Um, we do have um, parents' evenings at certain points um, throughout the year, yes. Um, so obviously that's an opportunity for parents to uh, be updated on um, the progress, um, how, how students are doing, any support on offer. Um, and also another question around um, trips. Um, yes, depending on the um, subject um, that you take, some of the courses um, run their own trips. Uh, so things like, say, um, you know, geology, biology, geography, just thinking of a few um, off the top of my head, uh, part of their course, uh, they do offer trips. And again, I think if you have a look on um, the different subject um, websites, you'll see that they mention some of the trips um, that they do um, on there. Um, we also, um, as a college, um, do trips as well to sort of different universities or sometimes we do visits to um, different employers um, so you can go and get an, a bit of a feel for what it's like in different work environments um, as well. Um, and Claire is asking here, um, will there be any opportunities such as a video to look um, around the college? Um, yeah, so I think I mentioned earlier, um, yeah, have a look. The, will be um, on the on the TRC website, um, kind of a virtual view, so it gives you a bit of an idea of the facilities. Um, as I say, all the talks are on there from the different head of faculties, um, so that you can um, have a look at what you can do. And in those different faculty talks, it also does um, eclipse to different bits of their area. So if you have a look at those, it's a really good way to give you a bit of an insight into what those different um, environments are like. So with sport, it shows you what some of the facilities are like for sport. Um, and the same if you were sort of based in, say, one of the science labs or languages, for example, as well. So if you have a look at those, you'd be able to see. Um, quite a lot of people asking um how late would students possibly stay um on on site um the timetable i think i mentioned earlier is slightly different at the moment um so when it's not um a covid time normally um you would leave the site at the end of the college day so um that would have been like half uh, by 4.15 um, at, at the end of the day. Um, but um, yeah, so but obviously at the minute, as soon as you finish your lessons, you're, you're off site, so it's slightly different. Um, uh, Casey, again, uh, will, will we be set homework? And if so, um, how often? Uh, Yes, um, yeah, you don't, um, you don't escape homework um, um, at college. Um, you will, you will have um, some homework. Uh, yes, Casey. Um, in terms of how much, um, obviously that will depend on on the subject, um, on 
on what you're studying, what you need to do, that kind of thing. Um, normally there is time built into your timetable to do that on site. Obviously at the moment it is slightly different, but normally you would have time to do that. Um, and the same applies as a questioning around are there any after school um, clubs? So normally, uh, yes, we have um, a really good uh, programme, which is uh, the track, the Thomas Rotherham and um, like additional activities we do. So um, there's a whole host of, of different things that you can get involved in. Um, so um, again, um, have a look um, on, on, on those. Um, in terms of what practice will we do or what practical we do if we pick science um i would suggest probably the best place to look for that is on um on our college website there's information from um the science department and it will give you gives you a bit of an idea about um what of the course content and the curriculum and it will give you an idea of some of the types of practicals um, that you will be doing as part of that but obviously if you're picking things like um science and chemistry and things like that there is um practicals that you will be doing as part of those and all the equipment that is provided uh, for that um so after school clubs i think i've just yeah answered um that one they running during the day during during the day um, now so um, it's just a case of looking there's, there's a mixture of different things like that as well we have um, opportunities for students to get involved in normal things like um, restart a heart and um, sort of short um, counselling and, and courses and things like that as, as well um, and then uh, I think I uh, have that one already about picking a, a double science and a BTEC. So, yes, a double science and a single BTEC coming in from Raheem. Two people have asked that. Uh, yes, so that's the equivalent to three. That would be a full timetable because your, your, your double science would be equivalent to two and then your business would be one. So, uh, yes, yes, you would be able to do to do that, uh, Raheem. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, um yeah, if there are any other questions that anybody wants to ask, I think we've got a few minutes left. Um, um, I think I'm kind of pointing in the direction of quite a few um, things. I'm just looking at some of the questions that I think had been emailed in. Um, someone had asked me um, through email earlier, I wasn't sure if I had time to go through um, these, but a question was asked, um, would I be able to go straight into employment after leaving college? Um, so the answer to that would be um, yes, um, you, you can do. Um, again, we, we have um, at the college as part of the question somebody asked earlier about tutors. Uh, we have the tutorial programme and one of those is our job ready programme and that's designed um, for supporting our students who are looking at targeting um, the world of work. So we look at working at building, your, boosting your employability skills um, um, with that. So, but yes, you could do. I think uh, that's all the questions we've got um, for this evening. So thank you so much for all the questions. It's been great. Loads of those come through. I say anything further you want to know, please just have a look either on the website, email us through at thecareers.tomworld.acd.uk. And yeah, thanks for listening. And hopefully we'll get to meet you in the flesh in person soon. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you and uh, good night.